Hello and welcome to EHC TV. My name is Chandler Foster and this is your news interview. You know, when you're in college, you like to have a nice little hangout spot where you can go and maybe eat and get something to drink and hang out with your friends. Well, Emory and Henry had one, but sadly it closed down. But we're getting ready to rectify that situation. We have a new restaurant coming to town called Bear Necessities, and it's spelled B-E-A-R Necessities with a T-E-A-S on the end of it. And joining me now on set is the manager of the restaurant here, Autumn Vaught. Thank you for joining me, Autumn. Yeah, Chandler, thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being here. So you're the manager of this restaurant. So if I'm not mistaken, is this a, a chain restaurant? I know there's another restaurant in Bristol. Yeah, so our home base is in Bristol. Um, we actually started as a food truck, then we opened that location there in Bristol. Um, and then the opportunity presented itself and we couldn't say no, and now we're here at Emory. So how did you all get here? So you are the manager. Who's the owner? His name is Rocco Beluso. Oh, okay. So is he from this area? Yeah, Rocco is from Bristol um, and he operates the Bristol store daily. Um, and the school reached out to him and, you know, wanted to put something in for students and students have been asking for a long time for coffee. And so that's what Rocco did. So McAdoo's had just recently closed. Did they reach out to him after the fact? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, okay. And he just said that he would, he agreed. Yep, sure thing. Well, that sounds really good. So what all are you all gonna be serving? I know you're serving coffee. What else you got on the list? So yeah, we have our um, coffee and then we also have some teas, a pretty extensive list of teas, honestly. Um, and then we are expanding into food um, we sent out a survey to students because, you know, their input is really what matters to us. So we sent out a survey to them, and we're getting a menu created. Um, and then we're also going to serve alcohol. So you're going to serve alcohol? Yes. Now, what do you have to do to get that? I know you have to get a license. What all does that entail? Yeah, so um, the license for alcohol is, you know, it has been kind of a setback for us. It's pretty hard to get, um, but we are working on it now and you have to sell food, and there's just a couple of other things that have to go on before you can be licensed to serve the alcohol, but we're almost there. Well, that sounds like a lot. So what are some of the responses that students have had about the survey, on the survey so far? You know, Chandler, believe it or not, they're oddly specific. Um, I think we were anticipating, you know, kind of like a food group, but we've had some pretty specific uh, requests, such as like potato skins. Um, we've had a lot of requests for wings. Um, so a lot of bar food, a lot of bar food is what we're seeing on the survey. Well, what are some of the popular drinks that you all have? So our most popular drink right now, pretty, pretty obviously, is the pumpkin roll latte. Um, with the, the weather cooling down, it seems to be everyone's favorite. We also have a Reese's latte. Um, that's been really popular. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, yeah, it is good. And then our hibiscus mojito tea has been really popular so far, too. Well, what are some of the most popular foods that you all have? So right now we're just serving um, just some like here and there pastries that we make, but our sugar cookies actually stole the show this week and we almost sold out in one day. So do you all have any social media? Like how can we get in touch with you all? Yeah, so our Instagram is um, EHC underscore bear underscore necessities. Uh, we're pretty active on there, pretty responsive. So if you want to reach out, please do it that way. Now, are you on X or Facebook or anything else? So far, we're not. Um, we hope to move to Facebook. We've noticed that, you know, the students are using Instagram more, but the community is looking for a Facebook. So um, we're working on that right now. And then we're also working on some other, you know, like marketing, you know, maybe like placing orders ahead of time, um, that kind of platform, stuff like that. All right. Well, homecoming is coming up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, actually this coming weekend. Oh, yeah. So are you all excited? Is Bear Necessities doing anything to prepare, or do you all have anything in honor of homecoming going on? Yeah, so we're anticipating a large crowd for homecoming. So we've got um, a full staff ready and waiting. Um, we're also hosting a book signing. Uh, it was originally scheduled to be at the Mercantile, but it actually was moved to Bear Necessities. So we have that going on in the early morning. 
Uh, and then we're hoping to have some, you know, featured drinks, maybe some blue and, and gold in there. That sounds really good. Blue and gold, I like those colors. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Well, Autumn, thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate this interview. Looks like we've got a new upcoming restaurant, and it's happening. Yeah, Chandler, I hope you'll come see us. Oh, I'm definitely going to come, and I encourage everybody else to come too. And again, what's the, so, the best way to reach you on social media? It's EHC underscore Bear underscore Necessities on Instagram. All right. Well, be sure and check out Bear Necessities and come see them. Thank you so much, Autumn. Thank you, Chandler. Well, this is Chandler Foster, and this has been your EHC TV news interview, and I'll see you next time.